Hey, what's up everyone? To watch this video for Wednesday, February 19th, showing you the SPY. We're still just in this sideways chop. Um, after trading all day, the SPY closed about where it opened. Um, still found some nice stuff to trade in chat. I'm going to give hats off to Jane here. She's in the UK, one of my favorite members of ours because she makes great calls and she's super funny also. Um, GNPX gapped up here and too many candles I'm showing you. It pulled back, started to pop up again. And then look like it was going to roll over right here. And next thing I know, it's curling back up again. Jane kept it on the radar. You see right there, about five minutes in, she posted GNPX ORB, which means looking for an opening range breakout. Um, you know, which was probably, there's too many candles. So probably about right here as it was coming up. But that kind of put it back on my radar. And so as soon as I started curling, uh, so, excuse me, as soon as I saw it curling up here, um, I reiterated Jane's idea to the room over the microphone. And I just took a limit order of 470 when the volume started to come in. I had a really nice fill, actually. Um, I think I got filled at 465 or something because the volume was coming in pretty quick. Again, these are two-minute candles. And then we got this big rip through five. Um, and you can see uh, the bulk of my cells there, five, 516, and 507. And that really right there was a day maker. Um, you know, forget some of the other calls. That are nice. Right there, if you, uh, you can grab a stock on a morning gapper or a recent high flyer, and you know you're never underwater from your entry and you get uh who knows like a little more than 10 percent move right there it's a pretty damn good way to start your day all right anyway so what are we watching for tomorrow <coughs> i'm a little annoyed with myself because tesla when i saw that it was going to close out at the high of the day i'll show you five minute candles here um, it just sideways chop almost all day um if you didn't see my picture on twitter i was getting ready to go uh grill some filet mignon skewers right um absolutely delicious but anyway uh, when I saw that it was going to go out near its highs, I, I just remember thinking to myself, I bet you Tesla runs in after hours. And I just couldn't get myself to take it and walk away and go grill, so I didn't take it. Um, as I'm babbling right now, it's trading at 887. So it's up about 30 bucks from where I wanted to take it and, you know, and then sell it in after hours. Um, so, you know, the thesis was right, but I didn't make a penny off of it. Anyway, Tesla will be on watch tomorrow. BLNK um, had this big pop back here. Then a secondary pop um, that topped out at 307 on Friday. And then what you would call a tertiary pop that topped out at 305 today. Maybe tomorrow we open under three. Then I like it through three, knowing that we've got two catalysts above, right? 305, a break of 305, and then a break of 307. So then maybe we retest that 340. So hopefully that opens under three and gives us some kind of setup. Um, H-E-X-O had this big pop on Friday and then this kind of quiet inside day today. Um, so maybe a two-day high break there, which is also right around the half, right around 150. AEZS, uh, that hasn't populated yet because that's not what the chart looks like. I don't know why it's taking so long. That's weird. Hang on, let me try to refresh it. All right, well, look at here the daily. I don't know why it's not working, but it closed at 118. And if I show you five-minute candles, you can see that it closed around 133-ish, and the high of day was probably around 135. So for some reason, it's not populating, but it's got a candle popping up to right about here today. So if we take out today's high, then maybe we make a run at this $1.50 high back here, or a little over $1.50. So I uh, apologize if that's not populating. DGLY had the gap up, gave it all back, and then some, but then another gap up sold off again, as DGLY always does. But now, Today, and that was Friday. Today, it's right back up. So you got a possible two-day high break there. So DGLY almost, I never thought I'd say this, almost looks bullish. Um, BLPH, massive move today, but closing way off its highs. As a day trader, I want to keep that one on watch. GNPX, I already talked about this one as a day trade today. Um, and it's crazy strong. It's also crazy ahead of itself. Um, and today's range was pretty wild. And you've got a topping tail and a bottoming tail. But... Um, I do want to watch that for a possible narrow range, opening range breakout tomorrow if it gives us that. MRNS, if I take today's candle out of it, I had this on watch coming into today. Look at that breakout. I'm saying that because I'm not bragging. I'm an idiot. I never got involved in this one at all. Uh, but anyway, kind of a nice breakout today. We'll see if we get any kind of follow through tomorrow. Didn't get involved in it today. <coughs> Excuse me. Bed Bath & Beyond, BBBY, um, trading at 1223 right now in after hours. So you had this big gap down. I think they announced a big buyback or something. Don't quote me on that. Um, thought I heard Benzinga say that. Anyway, gap down and then it's gone into a range for a few days. And so it's kind of interesting that it might start pushing up out of the range. So I do want to watch that one, uh, especially if it holds the gap up tomorrow. 
um, into the open. WSG, big breakout, recent, uh, you know, recent IPO back from uh, the summer at a huge day today, strong volume going out at its highs. Definitely want to watch that one. MGI, um, I kind of think this is another one. It didn't populate. Bear with me one second here. That went out at 299. So yeah, this this candle's not right either. Isn't that weird? It's another chart. I'm missing a candle. Um, as a matter of fact, I hover over this one. It says February 14th. So for some reason, this one doesn't have today's candle. Um, anyway, this one pushed up to and closed around three bucks. Uh, best I can tell by looking at my 15 minute chart. Let's go to 15s here. Yeah, so there's the big pop that's missing on the daily. I don't know why. Anyway, let's keep our eyes on that one. Um, you know, you had this uh, big sell off and then a nice pop here, topped out at 225, kind of cup and handily, and, um, you know, set to open hopefully sometime tomorrow. Uh, I'm sorry, set to open around three tomorrow. We'll see. I mean, anything could happen by the time we get to the opening bell. Could be 350, could be $1.50. But if it, if it opens fairly uh, flat tomorrow, um, it's certainly turning the corner here on the daily. So I want to watch that one. And then Roku, I'm going to put back on Bounce Watch. Uh, we had that earnings play or earnings gap up, sold off and sold off again today, but it's sitting in support now. It's got some nice support here. So it didn't give any kind of catalyst uh, trigger to buy it today, but maybe tomorrow, right? We'll add some gappers to this list as well. Plenty to watch tomorrow. Um, nice teamwork today in chat. We'll see you back in chat in the morning.